The point guard badge tier series is finally here. We have our guy Maddie from season two, one of our stars on our team. He ran point guard all season for us. Uh, Matt, how's it going today, man? I'm doing good, grinding 2K as usual, but I'm, I'm doing all right. <laughs> yes, sir, love it. Uh, we're excited to have him here. Like I said, he's an expert at point guard. He definitely has stick and knowledge in that area. Was a division one point guard for four years as well. So uh, make sure you listen up. He's gonna be dropping some nuggets for sure throughout this video. So first up here, we're gonna do the shooting badge tiers uh, for the point guard position in this video. Matt, you ready to go? Yes, sir. Perfect. Let's start it off here. Tier one through four. Tier one's the highest. Catch and shoot. Um, where do you see this badge, Matt? Catch and shoot. I would say this belongs in tier three. As a point guard, you're not really ball as much. I, mean, I know there's teams that have double guards, but I feel like there's just better badges that, that can be used for like, well, you can use your points better. Gotcha. Just catch and shoot. You're not really a sharp. That makes sense. That makes sense. Because uh, and a lot of times on point guard, you're going to be creating plays for yourself and going off the dribble, right? Not as much catching it and shooting. Right? Exactly. Cool. Good deal. Okay. Next up, we have clutch shooter. This is another badge. I I, I was torn between tier three. I went with three. Okay. This badge actually activates. I believe it's all of the fourth quarter. So if you really want to use this badge, I, I'd say go for it. But there's than this too but this is actually a really good badge just for the fourth be a close game you'll never know got you and it was funny when we did this with wolf matt he said i don't need clutch shooter i'm clutch enough so he said wolf said that or sorry swizz said that oh i was oh. about to say not wolf <laughs> no nah, man not wolf <laughs> not wolf i hear you wolf, swizz, he, i give it to swizz that he got a modern controller but wolf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh all right corner specialist what do you think here corner specialist i have this in tier four for point guards you're you're rarely ever going to be in the corner so i yeah this is down to tier four tier four corner specialist even so like what what about park do you think there could be a use in park even like say you're running double point guard maybe in park yeah like in 3v3 yeah you have two guards you can say, yeah, like you'll spot up in the corner usually, but in pro am definitely not. So, yep. but I I was looking at this as like for pro am, so I went with tier four. But for park, yeah, definitely I'd say tier three for park. Gotcha, sounds good. And and on the rest of these two, if you're if you think there could be a difference in park versus pro am too, we can take that into account because we we definitely have a bunch of people who who watch who are playing park as well. Okay, so, definitely. Cool. All right, next up we have Dead Eye. Dead Eye. I I believe this is tier 1. Tier I 1. This badge here for all of the contest between I believe like 1% to like 29%, this badge really activates a lot. So, I know those are still open shots, but it does nerf the contest a little bit and I feel like that's a very important badge to have. Good deal. And how high would you rank this up on your point guard? As high as I could get it. If I'm if I'm a bill with the yellow and green or blue and green, I'll put it Hall of Fame. Got you. Good deal. So definitely an important badge for you point guards out there. Dead eye is a must. Rank it up as much as you can, like Maddie said. All right, deep fades. I've seen a lot of shooting guards using this lately. Do you think it's important for a point guard though? Deep fades, this actually might shock a lot of people. I actually have deep fades in tier two. Tier two, okay. Yes. So. Actually, I've seen that the green and yellow build, if, you're, if your post fade is the bailout late shot clock, you really can shoot a lot of fades. Like, you can shoot a lot of really deep fades. So, I feel like that's great to have. Like, late shot clock as a bailout. Like, yeah. you can just pump up and you can pump fake either and get a foul or just shoot the fade away. I've seen a lot of guards do it and it's really effective. For sure. Now the next badge here is difficult shots. Do you do you pair that with deep fades or is it not apples to apples there? No, I say difficult shots. Difficult shots is more just for like mid-range, like leaning shots. It doesn't even activate on the three. I actually have difficult shots. I was torn between three and four here. So I actually went three. Okay. Two, Difficult shots, but actually Dead Eye activates them with fades. So if you want to pair something, it's actually I think it'd be Dead Eye with deep fades. Got you. 
Okay. Yeah, but I think you can actually hit a lot of leaners without the difficult shots badge. I just put it tier three just because it's kind of nice to have as a guard sometimes. Perfect. And I don't know if I told you, but I made a point guard this year too. So when I was playing early in park, before they nerfed difficult shots, I thought the badge was amazing. Like I love playing with it in twos in park, but I've t I turned it off after that first patch and it was... I don't think it's as good as it was early in the year. That badge was ridiculous. They needed to patch it. I couldn't. <laughs> I yeah. couldn't take it. <laughs> it, was, it was different, for sure. Okay. Uh, flexi release. You, you getting flexi out there, Matt? You need it? Uh, I actually, for me, personally, actually, I have flexible release in Tier 2. Tier 2? Okay. High up Just there. because, like, I'm on West Coast, and I play delayed a lot. So there's a lot of times where I'll get a late or early and it's like, I don't, I have no idea how I got that. And like, there's sometimes you get little funky catches. Mm -hmm. Like we all know what the game is, you get stuff you don't want and then you don't have a shot meter on. A lot of us don't have shot meters on. For sure. You, like, what was that shot? And it's early, how is that early? Late, how is that late? Like sometimes it's bad to save you. If you have enough points, yeah, I don't think it's a bad idea to, to have it on. That's, that's a great point, and we made a full video about this badge, and the number one thing we said was, if you have bad internet or you're playing on different servers, you might as well use it if you have the points, because it can help. You never know sometimes. You feel like you had that perfect release. Your shot meter's yeah. off. The feedback tells you it's way late. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe flexible release it's, can help you. It's so. stunning. I'm telling you, it's stunning when you get it early. You have no idea. You shoot an air bomb, it's like, how did that happen? Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, next up, Green Machine. Green Machine, I actually have this in Tier 1. Tier 1, okay. This badge, I feel like when you pick this with another badge, like no Hunter, I feel like this. these two badges can really, like, they can just change your player. You Once you green one shot, this badge is considered activated, and all your opens will start getting boost and you'll be able to green consecutive shots and it's it's really important it, like you really don't want to put your faith in whites like no one wants to do that mm -hmm. so you green consecutive shots you'll be good definitely and well we have one in between it you talked about hot zone hunter so i have a feeling you're going to push that one up there as well but hot start do we need this for tip play for swizz or or none at all here on point guard <laughs> hot start for pro -Am? This is tier four, but for Park, honestly, this might be tier one. Okay. okay. Because in Park, you're way more likely, it's way more space, you're way more likely to make your first shot. In Pro-Am, there's a whole lot of pinching. You might have to chuck up bailout shots. You don't know how long Hot Start will last. Like, I feel like there's no need for Hot Start in Pro-Am, but for Park, you're more than likely gonna hit your first shot. So, so it'll last the whole game. How, how about we put it, you said maybe tier one for park, four for pro am. What do you think? Yeah. Like tier three combined? I say yeah, tier three. Tier three? We'll we'll yeah. we'll have a combo there. If you guys are park players, like Mass said, you could throw it on, try to get that first bucket and take off. Pro am never use it, right? Never. Never. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> that is bad. All right. Hot zone hunter next up. Uh, you alluded to the importance of this a little bit earlier. How high up do you actually have it, though? Hot Zone Hunter, Tier 1, probably okay. like the best shooting badge. This badge literally will change your player. Like, I remember when the game first came out, and I just, I had quick draw, I had range extender, and I didn't understand why I was missing so many shots still. And as soon as I got Hot Zone Hunter and got Hot Zone, everything was green. Yep. So I feel like this badge is just, that's just the badge. It's like, you need it. You, you must have it. Awesome. Okay. So three tier one there, hot zone, also up to the top. Moving on, we have ice and veins. Ice and veins, I have this tier four. It's only for free throws in the late in the fourth quarter. So I really don't feel like you need it. The only way you say you need it if you're a big man with like a low free throw. Maybe you don't want to get fouled in the end of the game. But other than that, I feel like we should be able to hit our free throws. We all have high free throw ratings. Got it. Makes sense. Moving on. Pick and popper as a point guard. Pick and popper, also tier four. You're yep. never going to really be setting screens unless you're running some funky offense. So <laughs> I got that tier four, too. Sounds good. All right. We're flying through it here. Pump fake maestro on a point guard. Pump fake maestro, also tier four. Okay. I've seen 
that use for this badge yet. I haven't seen anyone like jump just for no reason, just because you have the badge or get a foul. I, I don't know, this badge seems bad too. Yep, might as well use your points elsewhere where we see the badges actually work consistently, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, all right, now moving on to a couple important ones. We know, uh, quick draw, how high up do you have this one? One, for sure. Unplayable without quick draw. You can't <laughs> even enjoy the game. Unless you have on release 38 and even still, it's bad. So you can't even play the game without quick draw. So bump it as high as it can possibly go. Okay, and you don't have to release this information, but I like to ask it. Do you want to tell us how high your quick draw is and your jump shot, or one or the other? <laughs> um, my quick draw is on gold. I'm actually using, right now, I'm using a two-way slash and playmaker and garden ball and kind of a scary ball in the room. Yep. Shot, I'm, I'm not telling you guys. I'm Hesitant sorry. on the jump shot? That's all right. You'll have to stay tuned. I might get it out of them in another video. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Um, range extender. Range extender, this is also a tier one shooting badge. Tier one, all right. Badge is very important. It's, I feel like it's even better than limited range last year because it actually activates on deep twos as well. Yep. So you get a boost on deep twos and deep threes, so it's, you gotta have it. Okay, and you go as, as much as you can in this one too? As, yeah, as high as possible. Good deal. All right, slippery off ball. Slippery off ball, I have this on tier four. As a, as a point guard, I, I never really find myself working on ball, even the shooting builds. Mm -hmm. So I have this tier four. Okay, simple enough. We saw some use for it on uh, the shooting guard builds with Swizz, but I think that's the only one. Uh, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I don't think we've seen slippery off ball out of tier four other than a shooting guard or sharpshooter. So. Definitely a specialized badge. All right, three left, Matt. We've got Steady Shooter up next. Steady Shooter, this is actually my shock. I actually have this badge in tier two. Tier two. Okay. Yeah, this badge is it's kind of a use at your own risk type of badge. Yes. You're gonna miss opens for sure. You're gonna feel the difference. If you're struggling getting open and you find yourself out of contested shots, put this badge on and you will really start hitting contested 100 percent smothered to go in be green i've seen consistent 60s get green with this badge like really struggle to get open i feel like this is a, it's a good badge to have definitely and i think with your play style you're a really good dribbler really good in pick and roll and you're going to be shooting it in people's faces sometimes if you pull up quick so dead eye uh paired with like a range extender and your steady shooter, even deep fades if you're coming off a screen at the top. Like, yeah. I, I feel like steady shooter makes a whole lot of sense for your play style, for sure. Yeah, and I feel like if you have enough badge points, I feel like there's enough other good shooting badges to kind of counter. Yep. So I, feel like, I, don't, I really don't feel like it's that bad of a badge. Yep, I'm with you there. I'm with you there. Okay, last two, tireless uh, shooter and volume shooter. First up, tireless. Tireless shooter, I actually, I have this tier three. It was almost tier four. I don't really find myself tired a lot. I mean, I, I have double Gatorade, so I usually do my training facility drills and also buy Gatorade. So there's not a lot of times where I'm dribbling the ball and blinking while I'm shooting. So I've like, just the rare times, maybe you'll, you'll be tired. I'm not sure, like in park, I know you guys may not be buying Gatorade or, or doing your drills. This badge may be useful for you guys, but it's, it's not that, it's really not that good. So if you get in the gym, you put in the work, you probably don't need this badge, right? Correct. <laughs> All right, volume shooter. Volume shooter, I also had this in tier three. Tier three. I really don't feel like this badge is that good. I feel like the man in the car was just trying to convince me like the other day that this badge was so good. <laughs> Mr. Dame. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Dame, bro. He's trying to tell me, as soon as you take three shots, this badge is on and you're getting boots. I'm like, Dave, I don't feel it. Like, I'm just still, like, whiting. Like, I feel like you can just, you can use this badge elsewhere, like, badge points elsewhere. Yep. Volume is not really necessary. Gotcha. Good deal. Okay, we're at that point in the video. You guys see all the tiers, all the badges, but here is what is important. Matt is going to tell you, and I didn't tell Matt he's going to do this yet, but I want you to give me the top three badges if we're starting a brand new player how would you rank up those first three badges to get your player going? 
First three badges to get my player going for sure. Quick draw is one. Rank two. Highs on hunter three. Okay. And on all those, you said you try to rank them up as high as you could possibly go, right? Yes, as high as I could possibly go. Perfect. Good deal. All right. Any any last thoughts on the shooting badges here, Matt? Um, no, I just say you you guys use your points wisely. I feel like the tier one badges, once you guys max those out, if you have extra points, you guys can go on and branch off and try other stuff. But I feel like those five badges are very important. Good deal. Perfect. Well, thanks for hanging out, Matt. We appreciate it. I know the viewers are clapping at home saying thank you finally for coming on and talking about point guards. So thanks again. <laughs> we appreciate it for sure, man. All right. Thank you. To everybody watching right now, if you're in the premiere, um, if you're tuning in on YouTube later on, let us know in the comments or the chat what you thought about Matt's tiers. If you agree, if you disagree, I know there's a lot of point guards out there. We definitely want to hear from all of you. So um, from Maddie and Cody and Pacers Gaming, thanks again for tuning into this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.